There is nothing you do that affects God. There is nothing you don't do that affects him. Every secret of the kingdom is for your making. I think you should know that no one can make himself. Follow me and I will make you. If you want to be made, follow me. <laughs> if you want to make yourself, try it. For it is in thy hand to make great. First Chronicles 29 verse 12. No one can make himself no matter how hard he tries. It's in the hand of the Lord to make great. And Matthew 4, 19, follow me and I will make you. Now, you have greatness in your genes. Because his name shall be, and he said, he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And as the father has sent him, so has he sent you and me. Luke chapter 1, verse 31 to 32. About Jesus, he shall be great. I said, as my father has sent me, so send I you, so you shall be great. So there is greatness in your genes. Can I hear your amen? amen? But you have to follow me to experience it. You don't follow me, you can't see it. You can't get there. You have to follow me to get there. What I'm saying may not be that interesting, but that's where the key is. One of the most distasteful instructions is move to Canaan for this church. Amen. <laughs> I had concluded it can't be, this can't be, this, there is no way this can be with my little head. But that's what it is. And he said, this is the place. And I said, Lord, I surrender. Somebody's story is changing this morning. Amen. And that is yours. Amen. That includes you. Amen. May every secret God shows you today and all the days of your life suit you. Amen. Because that's where your star lies. May it suit you today. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Give the Lord the biggest clap offering, everybody. Amen. Well, by way of reminder, very quickly, wisdom in biblical terms is knowing the right thing to do from the world and doing it knowing the right way to go and going there knowing the right step to take and taking it knowing the right tone to make oh, come on now you are wrong tone and taking it Matthew 7 24 and 25 whosoever hears these things of mine and doeth them I would like him unto a wise man Beat us out upon the rock, then comes the rain and the storm and the wind beat against that house, and they fell not because it was founded on the rock. But over here, he says, Oh man, and do it them now. But only preach at them. He preaches them, he teaches them. I like him, but a foolish man is beat us upon the, up, upon the sand, and then came the wind, the storm, the rain, and <laughs> came against that house, and it fell. And great was the fall thereof. No one will experience a fall. Therefore, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. For if any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer of it, it's like a man that looks at himself in a mirror and walks away and he forgets what he looks like. Both of them look at into the perfect law of liberty. He not being a forgetful hearer, but a doer, a doer of the work. That man shall be blessed in his deed, or that man shall be blessed indeed. That man shall be blessed indeed. Somebody's changing level here today, I know. Amen. If that looks like you, let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Therefore, knowing what to do from scriptures concerning any issue of interest is what provokes the creative That creates your desires. 
to be made manifest. The law by wisdom has founded the earth and by understanding has established the heavens. Proverbs 3.19 How manifold are thy works, O God? In wisdom has thou made them all. And the earth is full of thy riches. God does not look for solutions. He creates them. In Proverbs chapter 9 verse 12 which is a anchor scripture teaching series if thou be wise thou shall be wise for thyself but if thou scorn only you shall be it this is the way to go you like to get to where you are going go that way this is the step to take to get to where you desire to go if you truly interested to get there, take that step. This is the turn to make. And you want to get to where you are going, make that turn. And then you'll be there. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise unto thyself. But if you come, enough. What is he talking about? Stop that. Only you will bear it. Biblical wisdom for business breakthroughs. Now let's begin. And I hope it will be tasteful to you. Because your change of tool is in it. <laughs> let's look at some examples from scriptures of men that enjoyed supernatural breakthrough in their endeavors. Number one is Abraham. His strength is in his delightsome obedience to every commandment of the Lord. Get out of thy country, he departed. Circumcised or the may born in your home, he went there. As soon as the session was over, he began. Take that son, the only son I see. Offer him for a sacrifice. Upon the mountain, I'll show you. He rose up early in the morning. He went ahead. A die-hard servant of God, for whosoever you yield yourself to obey, his servants ye are whom you obey. Every genuine servant of God is a breakthrough candidate. Every genuine servant of God is a breakthrough candidate. Well, in chapter 14, he already had an army to himself of Genesis. Now, in Luke chapter 16, Abraham was said by Christ to be enthroned and Lazarus was sitting at his bosom. Verse 23, 24. Christ died to bring us to the blessing of Abraham. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. It just became God's symbol of generational blessing. And then we had the example of Job. Have you considered my servant Job? There's no one like him on the earth. <laughs> and what happened? He became the greatest of all men in the East. Job 1, 1 to 3, and Job 1, 8 to 9. How did he get there? Access to the secret of God that he chose to engage with. It's not just revealed to him, he chose to engage with that secret. As I was in the day of my youth, 
when the secret of God was upon my tabernacle. That was his testimony. A man that feared God. The secret of God is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. Psalm 25 verse 14. Nothing enthrones like access to divine secrets. One secret was revealed to Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar bowed down and worshipped him. <laughs> you know what that means? I surrender. By one secret, Daniel was enthroned in Babylon. Pharaoh said to Joseph, in as much as God has revealed this to you, shown this, there is no one as wise and this as you are. Take over the throne. Nothing enthrones like access to divine secrets that is embraced and engaged with. Behind every star in the kingdom is access to divine secrets. And our access is principally through three avenues. You want to assess divine secrets? Be in love with God. Because um, I call you no more servants, but friends. Because all that I have heard of my Father, I have shown thee, shown them unto you. John 15, 15. Be in love with God. Can I hide this thing that I do from Abraham? It's my friend. I have to tell him. Be in love with God. For eyes have not seen or ears are. It doesn't enter the heart of any man what God has in store for them that love him. But God has revealed it to them that love him. By his spirit. For the spirit of God in them searches all things. Yea, the deep, deep things of God. Let me tell you where my story is coming from in terms of divine supplies. Anytime, he said, you have two eyes. Anytime you look unto man, never claim to be looking unto me. But if you will look unto me, you'll never be ashamed. From that day of night of September 1983, I don't consider me or anybody for that matter for whatever God wants to do. He just revealed the secret to me. I was on my way to Makodi for a businessman fellowship to minister there. And the Lord said to me, Tell them that far be it that I, the Almighty God, will depend upon your wretched forces. For your wretched forces depend on me for replenishing. He said, My son, don't raise money. This man, you have more money than you ever need for ministry. He reveals his secrets to those who love him. Because he knows they won't take advantage of anything. They won't mess it up. It's not bragging. It's access to secret. And see where we are today. Because no man has what God has. Every man is temporal. God is eternal. Yes, sir. There is no country that has no ex presidents that are still alive. Amen. But they are ex presidents. I can tell you this every divine secret is for your change of story, every divine secret you assess is for your change of story. You won't miss it. Amen. The good news is, I see global giants seated here today. 